The modern car, as you know, has a face packed full of sensors, cameras, ultrasonic, and radar. Today's radar, honestly, isn't too much different than the radar you see in old movies. You know, it swings around, it sees a blip, or it doesn't, or kind of a blob. Automotive radar has typically been something of a blunt tool that can make out vague objects, but not discriminate one from another well, or characterize what they are. Its main benefit is that it works in crappy weather. A nation often skeptical of self-driving cars has already seen what can happen when the sensors in them just aren't smart enough. Federal safety regulators this morning were investigating the first deadly crash involving a self-driving car. In a statement, Tesla confirms the car's autopilot was activated and says neither autopilot nor the driver noticed the white side of the tractor trailer against a brightly lit sky, so the brake was not applied. Magna says they've got a new kind of radar called Icon Radar that has much greater range, much greater resolution, much greater ability to not just see something, but know what it is and what it's doing. It borrows some mil-spec techniques to shoot a signal out along 300 meters and with less than one degree vertical or horizontal aiming precision. That signal bounces back to a receiver that is a piece of silicon divided into 192 virtual receiving antennas through software. You can actually start classifying things. And to be able to classify things, you have to get the outline and be able to tell a person from a stop sign or uh, a manhole cover from the road. Startups MetaWave and Echodyne are also reinventing radar for cars. They use synthetic metamaterials, not found in nature, to make for radar antennas with advanced beam forming characteristics to also see farther, target more precisely, and do so repeatedly, quickly. Now for its part, Magnus says their Icon radar technology does not necessarily obviate other sensors. But they do believe it pairs particularly well with cameras in terms of classifying and tracking objects. Also a big trend coming along is for cars to have LiDAR in them. This is what they talk about when they say sensor fusion. You don't necessarily use one kind of sensor to do one kind of job. You get a lot of confidence and redundance by having several sensors gang up and hopefully agree. And when they do agree, then the software in your car makes decisions. This Icon radar is available now. They're shopping it around to manufacturers. It's not an option that you're going to be even aware of when you buy it in a car, but you may feel it when a future car of yours is a little smarter than it would have been otherwise.